New information, a Lauderdale County mother finally free from her felony charge. Kim Blaylock was charged with prescription fraud back in June after refilling an opiate prescription for chronic pain while pregnant. With the ones Nicole said it has followed this story from the very beginning. Nicole, how does Blaylock feel now that the charges have finally been dropped? She feels grateful, saying she no longer has to live in fear of a felony conviction for refilling a prescription. And her attorney says it's not only a win for Blaylock, but for pregnant women across the state of Alabama. When a woman becomes pregnant, all her pre-existing medical conditions don't suddenly disappear. Kim Blaylock had been prescribed opiates for years to help manage her chronic back pain. This is a person who is a chronic pain patient and had a medical need for the medication that she was taking. But when she refilled that prescription without disclosing her pregnancy to her doctor, the district attorney charged her with unlawful possession of a controlled substance. Our goal in that thing was never to make her a felon, never to make her, uh, you know, do anything punitive to her. We wanted her to enter into a pretrial diversion that would have required her to provide clean drug screens. The DA says he wanted to get Blaylock help for a substance abuse problem, but her attorneys argued she didn't need help as she was only using the medication given to her by a doctor. This is not somebody who needs any kind of continuous monitoring. Both parties came to an agreement that Blaylock would take one drug test and one substance abuse assessment. When the negative results came back, the DA dropped the charges. Now that the case is over, Blaylock says, quote, I never imagined that taking my prescribed medication would lead to a felony charge and the most terrifying period of my life. Pregnant women in Alabama who are experiencing things like chronic pain and need medication should not live in fear. The group National Advocates for Pregnant Women, they hope that this case can set a positive precedent for women going forward so they don't have to be scared of something as simple as refilling a prescription. Reporting live in studio, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.